Hi everyone, welcome to this review of the Canon 50mm f1.8 Mark II lens. Uh, it's been around for quite a few years now, as I'm sure a lot of you would know. Uh, it's considered a standard on uh, full frame 35mm format cameras, but as it's so cheap, it brings a different type of photography to a lot of people, especially people with uh, the more entry level digital SLRs like the APS-C size sensors. Now the big attraction for people with this lens is the f1.8 aperture, as you know it lets in a lot more light than your standard kit lens or anything like that. and. It just makes this kind of photography, uh, this kind of lens even, more accessible to people because this lens is so cheap. But as it's so cheap, obviously we're going to have a couple of downsides. So let's get right into the build quality. Uh, don't be expecting great things for the build quality, to be honest. Uh, it's pretty much all plastic. Pretty much everything, obviously glass elements. But yeah, even the, even the mount is plastic. On the back. The plus side to um, the, the lens being made of plastic is that it's super light. Uh, it weighs like 130 grams I think Canon state. So once you've got this mounted to your camera you, you won't even feel it whatsoever. So if you um, if you're going for like a light a light setup you know you've got a really light digital SLR and you want a super light lens to go with it this might be perfect for you. Yep it only has one switch on uh, this the lens it's the autofocus uh, manual focus button and doesn't feel amazing but again we can't expect too many great things for this price and what I will say is don't try turning the focusing ring whilst that's in autofocus because you probably will break it. Getting onto the focusing ring it it lacks any kind of feel whatsoever when you're moving it and as you can see, the front element does extend out, but it doesn't rotate. So if you was using a polarizing filter or anything like that, it, it won't alter the angle of polarization, so nothing to worry about there. Uh, plus side to the focusing ring is that it's got a really short throw. So that is, that's the full amount of how long it takes. So if you're shooting video or something, you can just easily focus with one finger like that I've found and it, it really is a, a big bonus really. Right, what I've done is I've put um, mounted the lens on a uh, Canon 6D just to let you hear the auto focusing uh, micro motor, I think it's called in this. Yeah, I'll just put it near the microphone. Yeah, it's it's pretty loud, but again, you know this this is why it's so cheap. But you know, if you prefer to manually focus, or if you're just using it for video and manually focusing, this ain't going to pose you any kind of problem. And the autofocus is, even though it's really loud, it's pretty accurate. It's not the fastest in the world, but again, you know, there's going to be some compromise for this price. Right, what we'll do is we'll jump into the computer, take a look at some uh, test uh, images I've taken and also the images that I've taken over the years whilst owning this lens and I've taken some video with it as well so we can have a look at that and the images are shot on an APS-C size sensor and a full frame sensor so let's take a look. Right, what I've done here, I just took a couple of sample videos, this is shot f1.8 so quite difficult to focus and I don't have the most steady hands in the world. Uh, yeah, but just to demonstrate what effects you can get shooting at f1.8. This is to show the level of focus breathing on the lens and to highlight how quick and easy it is to manually focus. So, I mean, that's going from like infinity up to closest focusing distance, back to infinity up to closest focusing distance. So, I mean, you can see it is a really handy lens to use for video. Right. I've got a series of images uh, taken with uh, APS-C size sensors and uh, full frame sensors 
Uh, I've just taken these this one just as I was shooting the video. Uh, this is just uh, uh, f1.8. This is on a Canon 6D, so a full frame camera. And if we zoom in, it's a little bit soft. But if you stop it down f3.5, it's really sharp and it performs pretty much as as well as any of the 50mm lens across the range even the stupidly expensive uh, L daddy of a 50mm lens and you know for this kind of money you, I mean I think it's like a twelfth of the price of that lens I mean it's just insane really um, jumping across to a few other pictures again this is on a Canon 6D uh, shot uh, f1.8 and it's still pretty sharp uh, it's beautifully uh, out of focus background though which is part and parcel of this lens another one f1.8 again focused in on the eye it's super sharp it really is super sharp what I'll say is you're gonna get quite a lot of images which are out of focus uh, using this because obviously the depth of field is that narrow it's just gonna miss focus every now and then but you know just take a few extra shots to make sure uh, this is showing you what the true performance of the lens is like this is shot f7.1 and once it renders which it isn't doing it is beautifully sharp this picture this is just the jpeg that i've done for the uh, video but yeah it is beautifully sharp and the color rendition and everything is fantastic Another one, what's this at? F2.2. This is on a crop frame camera. This is on a Canon 30D. Uh, nice and sharp. Beautiful colours. Obviously, it's difficult to tell any corner detail because most of the things when you're shooting wide open just get blown out of focus unless you're shooting something completely flat. Um, again, APS-C SARS camera. This is a Canon 30D. Uh, this is actually the sun that hasn't been put in there afterwards and that was coming right into the camera and it dealt with flare and everything beautifully well. Um, yeah, rendered all the details fantastically considering this is an old camera it was on. Uh, it performed magnificently I think for, for the what the lens is. Uh, again, APS-C SAR sensor, Canon 30D again, uh, f1.8. Uh, again, from the same day, f1.8 again, beautifully sharp across the eyes. Uh, yeah, f1.8 again, almost fell out of a uh, door taking this because <laughs> obviously on a crop frame sensor it's a lot more zoomed in, I think it's like 80 millimeters or something. So I was trying to get close, uh, backing up to fit this in the frame. And uh, yeah, someone had opened the front door and out I nearly fell. But you just get a, an example, a, a, a few examples there of what can be achieved and what you should expect really from the lens. Yeah, this is a video taken with a 6D. I better kill the sound because there was some music in it. Yeah, this was shot with a 6D and I'm just manually focusing here and it it's really sharp. I mean, that's at 1.8 and on the full, you know, 1080p video on a on a full screen it looks amazing really and considering i don't really know much about video i, I thought it come out pretty well but that's the kind of uh, like level of quality you should be expecting from the lens right to sum it up guys the the 50 mil 1.8 from canon mark ii is really the bargain in the photography world really uh, for what for the bang for the buck performance wise it's going to give you a, a, a open your photography up to new levels really and just let you experiment and you know shoot in really low light and just enter into a different part of photography you might not have been able to do with your kit and you know going forward in the future I think you'll still be using this lens even when you've you're a, a seasoned photographer because you know, I still go back to this lens. This only there's certain things I, I use it for. I use it for a lot of food photography, and if I was, you know, in a low light situation, I would I would have no worries putting this light, uh, lens on my camera whatsoever because I know it'll perform beautifully. Uh, there's just a couple of them things to get over: the build quality and the autofocus system. But 
you know once you persevere you'll be blown away by the results so i hope this helps and if you like give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos to come thanks